Well, like the title says, welcome to clay versus J versus uncut angling. Long story, and I'll get to that as I'm fishing here, because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of time to fish since we have nine hours. It is already 30 degrees Celsius out. Like I am sweating, but I'm long sleeves because I want to try to cover up some skin for sure. Maybe even put a hood up at some point too, but I'll get to the whole what's J versus clay versus, J versus clay versus uncut angling. I'm not going to call it J versus clay versus J versus Aaron. I'm going to call it clay versus J versus uncut angling. We've got to go for the clickbaits, baby. Anyways, we better start fishing because it is 12 o'clock competition goes from 12 to 9 and I should be already fishing so I'm two minutes yeah it's 12 02 I'm already two minutes late let's go I caught him I sight fished that wall <laughs> well that's a good sign at least maybe the bite will be on for me in some sense even though it's glass calm I literally saw that fish swimming this sandbank here and yeah well, I'm gonna I'm gonna register him anyway even though he isn't gonna win me anything we will register them we're on the board literally first cast first minute we're on the board anyway okay what do we got here settle down settle down settle down nose touching we're on the lowest quarter 18 and three quarters 18 and three quarter inch to start it off it's hot like it is hot outside hot 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 it's so hot like so hot insane literally seconds to catch that first fish so what is clay versus j versus uncut angling well it's a competition that actually started with just j and i clay versus j or as he calls it j versus clay of different types of comp fishing competitions we've done top five biggest walleye a few times that's what today's competition is by the way is top five biggest walleye we've done most walleye we've done uh top five bass and i've chosen a lake today that is going to give me a good average but i don't have great potentials for giants and i think i made a little bit of a mistake because jay slammed him yesterday in his pre-fish like slammed him like told me his top he had four fish over 28 inches i've never caught in a fish in the summertime on this lake over 28 inches so i am in for how should i say this i'm in for a giant challenge giant giant challenge today top it off the conditions are completely different from my pre-fish where i pre-fished and it was windy and amazing it was windy it was awesome and that was yesterday and also today i got flat calm conditions so now to throw another i don't know dart at the dartboard here mr uncut angling himself wanted to join last minute so now i'm competing against two people who are probably going to smoke me but that's okay i'm just going to go today and try to have the best day I've had here ever. Have a great day, enjoy myself, not fry, because it is so hot, like I mean hot, ridiculous. And if I could somehow get on a sight fishing bite like that for walleye, I don't care if I catch 20 inches all day. That was, ama that was amazing to watch that fish cruising the sandbank, cast to it and catch it. So I'm gonna have to really slow my presentation down a lot because I was pitching swim baits uh, when it was windy and it was amazing. I see two walleyes up here. So what I'm gonna do actually is to give good more visuals, I'm gonna go to the front of the boat and see if we can catch that. There's two there and see if I can catch one of them. If I could sight fish walleye, it'd be epic. He ate it. Are you kidding me? And my head camera is repairing a file. Are you kidding me? This is epic. There. <laughs> Well, at least I can get the fight part of it, but that was epic. I saw it on the sand and casted right to it. Unreal, unreal. I wish I had that on head camera because I have a polarizing lens. Well, fish too anyway. Got big net for such a little fish. Brought the big net today in hopes of catching some 
big ones. I sight fish that fish. That was absolutely epic. 22 and a half. 22 and a half, baby. Sight fished. 22 and a half incher. So good. But I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need that to be my smallest fish today for sure. Temperature, of course. Everything's not working. I have to put my phone in the locker because it's overheating. My GoPro, I think, is overheating. I'm overheating. <laughs> oh, baby. I sight fished that fish. That was unreal. Let's try to sight fish some of these fish with a net rig. Yep, got him. Nice. Threw that net rig way up there. Beautiful. This sight fishing walleyes is unreal. Unreal. Decent fish, not big enough to win anything again, probably. But if I can put together five 22 inch fish, I'll be okay with my day. I'll be happy with my day. Come on. Yes. Yes. Nice fish. Nice fish, nice fish, fish three. Okay, what do we got? Show them, we'll measure first. And we'll show them off, easy. Easy, easy. Settle down. 22 and a quarter. 22 and a quarter, okay. Fish three, 22 and a quarter. I'm gonna turn this camera for the future, for the angles on angle this feels good even though they're not three fish that are gonna win anything if Jay put off all his numbers but walleye fishing can change so fast Jay could get skunked today literally skunked Aaron on the other hand I feel like he's gonna put together a solid bag probably for sure but Jay's fishing areas he could get skunked he could it could happen I just got to keep pushing forward if I can catch at least five fish that size, I'll be happy with my day. Let's chuck the net rig up here again. With the water being so clear like this and no wind, I gotta stay far away from my structure if I can at times. It's a whole school of them down here. Smaller though, I'd say. Oh, geez, that tiny one. Tiny, tiny one came at me. I don't want that one at all. Because one on the sand here, we'll try to, we'll try to catch. It's not that big. Oh, it sees it. It sees it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. It ate it. Nice. Wow. This is epic. I don't really care if I lose today with this epicness. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Sight fishing walleyes. Oh, so cool. Sight fishing walleyes in my neck of the woods does not happen very often. Uh, we'll register this fish anyway, just because I should register at least five for my check-in, just to get them thinking. 20, 20 inches. Amazing, amazing. You can do this, Clayton. You can do this. Yeah, crazy. Just stacked in there. Smaller though. Not even gonna register them. They're probably 17, 18 inches. Eh, probably at least 18, but it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna catch bigger. Oh, that's a decent one. Oh no, there's two of them together. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Crazy. Sight fishing, slamming walleyes. Like just slamming. Well, we are an hour and six minutes in. It is hot. It's supposed to get to 34 degrees Celsius today, which is so hot. We've caught, I don't know, 10 or 12 fish. I only registered my four. We've got a couple 18 inchers, but I'm pretty confident to catch more 18 inchers. So I've been 
letting the other ones go. Had horrible head camera issues. Overheating when it's warm out. Our total is meh right now. We need a big one yet. I'm gonna try a little bit deeper off some of the structure where I caught some of those nice ones, like say in 25, 26 feet, somewhere in there. Just because I think the bigger ones might be pushed off a little bit there. So we'll go back and we'll try that structure where we had that cool sight fishing action and go from there. Uh, I think a fish picked it up. My bobber's swimming. A fish totally picked it up. My bobber went slack. A fish totally has that. Nice. Oh, it's a pike. I was gonna say, man, if that was a walleye, I had a good one. Oh, darn it. Darn it, I got check-in in five minutes from now and I just hooked into a, a pike. A decent pike, but, oh. Just throughout the slip bobber, you got everything ready for the check-in period here. Oh, I think I should be allowed to count pike. How about that? Got so much fish activity. Oh, I don't got my head camera on because it's been overheating. Ah, <sighs> this has been, the heat has been an absolute nightmare for me today. Like, absolute nightmare. I'm two hours in and everything just stopped working. Head camera quits every so often. It's like a nice 34, 35 inch pike. Easy, easy, easy. I have to let go so I don't break the line. I wanted to try to just grab him. Once I get a hold of him, there we go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Well, nice consolation pike anyway. Probably like I said, 35 inch or something like that. Okay, buddy, you are not what I was expecting. Oh, <laughs> yeah, come here. He's fine. Watch this. <laughs> See you, buddy. Okay, Jay is at 75 and a half inches. So I'm beating him right now, for now anyway. And Aaron is at 54. Look freaking out we don't play nice with your types what a jerk so we're communicating through the in reach but we will have videos for each other so i will roll their videos right now all right clayton and aaron first period was was medium but considering the conditions it's flat calm all my excuses i'm i'm feeling good got 75.5 inches and um this is just the beginning i'd, I'd be afraid i'd be i'd be very afraid Hope you guys are having fun. Miss you. Holla, 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 holla. We making noise. We're out here on Big Windy, as you can see. Yikes, hey? We basically caught nothing the whole time. And uh, I was trying to fish deep and I pulled up right against the bank, made three casts and caught 54, yeah, there's your hint. Leaves you not really knowing if that's a 32 and a 22 or a 35 and a 20, 19, and a 19. Shoot, maths. Look at her, fast asleep. And we're coming for you! We're gonna fish aggressive even though right now it's so nice out and glass calm. I don't know what else to do right now to maybe trigger a big fish bite, fish the, the slopes aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna give this spot a small break. I'm gonna tour some other stuff. I'll probably come back here at some point, but we're gonna give it a small break. Plus, I need to drive a little bit and cool off it, so. I know, I've, I know it's an ongoing story and I will stop complaining now, but it's hot. Last time I'm gonna say this, it's really hot. Oh, come on, come on, nice. Picked them right up off that edge. Not bad, not bad. Probably score this one anyway. Finally scored our fifth fish. It's It's been an hour since the last check-in. I've kind of fooled around, tried some other stuff. This fish is not gonna cut it. Of course, I don't have my head camera on right now. Uh, better, uh, no, we don't need to net them. We'll catch another one this size. Come on, okay, easy. Why didn't I net you? Why didn't I net you? I should have netted you. Okay, well we're gonna score our we're gonna score our fifth fish anyway. Just because 
close your mouth. 20, well, it's bigger than I thought actually. 20 and three quarters. 20 and three quarters. A little bit bigger than I ended up thinking. It was bigger than I thought it was gonna be. 20 and three quarters for our fifth fish. I've got a message from Aaron. Uh, he's got 101 and a quarter. It's probably only with four fish. So we'll, we'll roll Aaron's video now. We're good. Things are good. Relax. Everything's good. Everything's good. So, what do we got? 101.25? We're going to be in the lead if nobody's upgraded. Okay. We still have five hours left. There's lots of time. I'm not concerned in the slightest. I will say this. We do not play nice with your pipes. Well, Jay's just sent a message. <laughs> 121. Yeah, he's on them. Definitely. I'll play Jay's video right now. Guys, I've been playing nice. I've been playing nice. But that's all done now. I'm calling out all my fish last period, so this number doesn't mean anything, but I'm at 121. I hope you guys crack them. Yeah, I hope we all crack them. I just hope I crack them a little bit better. It's gonna be a race between Jay and Aaron, not gonna lie. I'm going to try my hardest. I just, I don't think I can catch four 25 inch fish as an average at the lake I'm at. I really don't. And I chose this lake just because I wanted the challenge type of thing and it just, yeah, not going good. So it's all good. I am gonna keep trying though as hard as I can, that's for sure. I still had a blast sight fishing those walleye this morning. That was mind blowing. Since then though, it's been slow. Well, that's it, no more check-ins. I won't know their totals until the video is uh, played. I, I gotta try to beat Aaron still. Still gotta try to beat uncut angling. I can't, I don't think I can catch Jay, there's no way. There's no way, I need a miracle, but I could catch Aaron. Or no, I'm beating Aaron right now. I could beat Aaron. I just want a breeze, that's all I want. I just want a little breeze. Jay and I have done some pretty epic trips together. Sturgeon fishing, Fraser River, Falcon Lake, largemouth bass. Came down to Florida with me a couple times. Fish tarpon, Goliath grouper. Jay's been there for some of my most epic fishing moments. He worked up with me at Wollaston for a couple years. Got a pretty good, pretty good history with the old J-bomb. Kind of happy he's going to win. Or is he? Or do I have something special planned yet? No, who am I kidding? It's a tough bite. And like, look at, I'm like drifting right now. It's, it's the worst. Like, this is so painful. So painful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Back on him. Back on him, casting the Nedra goat. Oh, come on, it's a pike. Oh. oh, are you kidding me? It's a pike. Oh, that's why it felt better. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, my nice little consolation prize, a northern pike. Nice. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. A little bit. Awesome. Well, we're just gonna have to keep working hard. Just went back to a, a jig, jigging the tail. Just started snap jigging. I don't know if we might got an upgrade, might not, I'm not sure. But I think we just gotta just take our time. Take our time. I think it's an upgrade. I think it's an upgrade. Come on, baby. It's not a big enough upgrade though. That's the only problem. But that's okay, we gotta still beat Aaron. We still gotta beat Aaron. That's important. That's important too. Can't lose to Jay and Aaron. What do we got? Shh, shh, okay, shh, okay. Should be an upgrade. Oh yeah, it's definitely an upgrade. 21 and three quarters. 21 and three quarters. Okay. A little bit of an upgrade for us right there. 21 and three quarters. It's 
a couple inch upgrade for sure. Feels good. It's been over, I don't know, well, at least since the check-in. So an hour and 15 minutes, I've caught a fish. I'm just hoping that once the sun starts to set a little bit here, it'll cool off a little bit and I can get into them. But I was snap jigging and that walleye come up and just crushed it. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't have a head camera on. Well, at least all five fish are over 20 inches. Something. There we go. Oh, almost fell in the lake. Feels decent. Feels decent. Feels good. Got nice head shakes. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just daydreaming. I'm just like wishing every fish to be bigger than it is. <laughs> Just wishing, right? Still nice. Might be an upgrade. Might be an upgrade. Be close. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Yes. That'll be an upgrade. That'll be an upgrade. Biggest one of the day. 23. 23. Biggest of the day. 23 incher. A little bit of an upgrade. Not much, but that's okay. It's still a fun day. I can honestly say I'm happy with my day. I am. Nothing wrong with that day at all. Where's my phone? Oh yeah, in the cooler. We just gotta replace four more fish. We need the 23 to be our smallest fish. So don't quit, Clayton. Don't quit. Do not quit. Jay could, Jay could not catch any more fish. Just don't quit. You gotta beat 121. That's your only goal, Clayton. You gotta beat 121. Come on, be the one, be the one. Come on, I don't think it is. I do not think it is the one. I do not think it's the one. No, nope, probably not even an upgrade. It's so cool to watch in that clear water. So cool, so cool. Mm, we'll check, but it's 20 and a quarter. I don't think I have any that small. Right on that edge, smaller. This one's for sure smaller. For sure, little guy. Be a good eater. 109 and a quarter. We're sitting at 109 and a quarter with three hours to go. Still, I need a giant, I need two giant upgrades to be, to catch Jay. I just gotta keep pushing to try to stay ahead of Aaron for sure. This will uh, definitely test you as an angler right now. <sighs> this fish here, they're just smaller. Not what I need. Not what I need. Nice. Small though. Tiny. There we go. Nice. Still feels small though. Nailing, but just small. Been nailing fish in the last like 15 minutes. 20 minutes, just all small though. No upgrades at all. Just looking for a one or two upgrades would be nice, you know? I'd like to catch like a 25 or a 26 inch or even. I'll tell you one thing, I'm starting to gain a lot of confidence in this jig though, like a lot. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Doesn't look like I'm gonna catch Jay. The question is now, will I have stayed in front of Aaron or not? That'll be the question. Jay will be happy. This means a lot more to Jay than it does to me. When he loses, Sam says he's like miserable for weeks, weeks. This means a lot to him. Aaron and I even said, we're like, maybe we should just let the poor little guy win. I will crush you next time, Jay. Like, it's gonna be bad. Oh, what's this? 
Oh. Oh. Maybe. 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 Is it an upgrade? I think it's gonna be an upgrade. Maybe. Oh, not much time left here tonight, but we might have found some fish. We might have found some fish. Maybe an upgrade. Maybe an upgrade. I'm gonna lose them right away, aren't I? Oh, I think we're upgrading. I think we're upgrading. No, 20, 20. Not an upgrade, 20 incher. Feels good to be catching some fish at sunset though. Okay, let's do it. Well, that wraps her up. What are you gonna do? I for sure didn't beat Jay. Maybe I beat Aaron, maybe I didn't. I can't see it happening. 109 and a quarter, I believe, was my total. We fished really hard. Like, honestly, I gave it 120%. I fished as hard as I possibly could. The wind's literally just starting to pick up now. My neck feels a little burnt. I feel like a little bit of a lobster. What to take away from this? I don't know. I don't think there's really much I could have did differently. I'm happy. I'm happy with the fish that I caught for the conditions that I dealt with. Like it was really cool sight fishing them. Caught a nice pike. Saw every species, carp, suckers, everything. It was pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching more Clay vs. Jays vs. Uncut angling in the future. We'll see. We'll see if uh, Aaron runs and hides in his cave for the next two months after, after this. Especially if Jay took him down, he'll just be so devastated. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, get outside. <laughs>